Uh, Professor Kula from uh, Advanced Graphene Products. Professor Kula, welcome to our ID Tech X show here in Berlin, 2015. Could you tell us a little bit about Advanced Graphene Products and, and, and what you do? Uh, okay, the Advanced Graphene Products is a small firm, the spin off of Lodz University of Technology. A uh, few years ago, we developed a new product, very uh, strong graphene. We called it HSMJ. Uh -huh. High-strength metallurgical graphene, yep. and uh, we transferred our uh, patents to advanced graphene product. And now this this firm tries to locate this product on the global market. Okay, oh, so this was a company that kind of evolved out of uh, Lutz University in, uh, Technology there in Poland, correct? In Poland, in Poland, in Łódź. So. Yeah. Okay, great, fantastic, um, and. What sort of products do you see uh, uh, graphene in, 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 in the future? Uh, I, w I hear a lot of talk about it being in the research and development stage, and I'm wondering how far are we away from actually having graphene in products, and, and what sort of products might we see graphene uh, available in? Uh, people expect historical change in technology yeah. based on, on, yeah. on graphene, uh, but uh, that is the great challenge. Yeah. Uh, uh, there are a lot of methods to produce the graphene, graphene powder, graphene sheets. Uh, the question is how far is the industrially sk skilled graphene to the theoretical one, to the um, uh, invention of uh, Nobel uh, Prize awarded game in the Nova also uh, 2010. Um, I, can, uh, I can say that our gra graphene is very close to the theoretical uh, properties, therefore um, I'm able to expect the very fast application uh, for different functional uh, equipment like composites, like electronics, like water filters, etc. etc. We offer really very good product, very close to the uh, expectation of uh, uh, next manufacturers in the chain of added values. Yeah, great. That's fantastic. I mean, I hear things about, uh, you know, graphene being involved in supercapacitor batteries, batteries yes. in, in, in general, and, and could you explain to us the, uh, a bit of the benefits about that? I mean, from my understanding, a very basic understanding, we're looking at quick charging vehicles, uh, vehicles that, uh, batteries that hold their charge a, a, a lot longer life and, and, and more superconductivity in that. We started our adventure with, with, with graphene from the project on the hydrogen storage. Hydrogen as the fuel for future vehicles. Yeah. We needed very strong graphene, therefore we developed our own methods. I think that it's impossible to reach the great jump in technology without absolutely new solutions, technical solutions. If we try only to repeat the same solution using graphene, we are able to improve the product performance 10 15 percent but this is not revolution yeah. we should think uh, we should think simultaneously on absolutely new products and this will be the great jump in the technology that, that's fantastic um, how do you find in our ID Tech X show here in Berlin uh, as far as I mean, I'm, I'm sure you've been to many graphene related events okay. But I'm just wondering what your what your feeling with the, with this event. I think this event is uh, well organized. Uh, a, lo a lot of uh, people were inter interested in our presentation. Uh, two hours ago, I had the presentation during the uh, oral, oral uh, session. A lot of people uh, um, uh, heard me during this session. I have the questions. So I think it's a very good e event in in Berlin, uh, and I hope. Uh, to create the new relations with our partners in academia, in industry, in economy, uh, uh, due to this fantastic event. Great, Dr. Kula, uh, Professor Kula, I really appreciate your time, and thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much.